Welcome to SS Tutorial. Today I came here with one more new video. This video is going to be on a very important topic. So please don't skip and keep watching. Today we will talk about SCAR. So let's begin. An SCAR is one of the most attractive land from a pluvio glacial deposition. So let's know about SCAR. An SCAR is a long sinuous winding ridge composed of stratified sand and gravel. Deposited by stream or channel that flowed through the tunnel of the base of stagnant glacier or at the surface of stagnant glacier. The term is derived from the Irish word Aiskar, which means ridge or an elevation which separates two plains. This term is also used to describe as a ridge, which is actually a deposit of fluvio glacial material. Let's know formation of the Aiskar. Escars are generally developed at the base of the glacier, where glacial meltwater flowing through tunnel. Then sediments are deposited within this tunnel. Over time, it gets filled up with sediments. After ice age or when glacier retreats, then these sediments develop a ridge shaped landform, which is known as escar. Escar may also form at the surface of the glacier. When a supraglacial meltwater channel flows through the surface of the glacier, then sediments are deposited within this channel. Over time, it gets filled up with sediments. After retreat of glacier, a ridge of sediment is left behind the outwash plane, which is known as escar. Here, we have to remember that escar formation takes place when a glacier remains stagnant. Because when a glacier moves, it would spread materials, so escar cannot develop when glacier moves. Escar may develop as a single channel or may be in branch with tributary escar. Some escars are continuous, but most of the escars are not continuous. They have some gaps because the sedimentation process may fail to take place on the entire length of the subglacial tunnel. Let's know size and shape of escar. Escar may range from 20 to 30 meter in height, from 50 meter to 500 meter in width, and a few kilometers to hundred of kilometers long. Length of many escars are similar to that of a stream. Long escar, which may hundred of kilometer in length, may take hundred to thousand of year to form. Short escar, which may hundred meters to ten kilometers in length, may form possibly over periods of day to week. During high magnitude drainage events such as glacial outburst flood, shape of escars can be triangular, semicircular, flat topped, or multi crested. Escars are common in glaciated region. Escars are found in Sweden, Canada, North America, Finland, Scotland, Alaska, and so on. The state of Michigan has over 1000 escars. Sweden is home of one of the largest escars. Uppsala Sen is one of the largest escar of Sweden, which is about 250 km long. Escars are often confused with moren. Here we should know that escar and moren may have similarity only in their shape, but there is strong differences between them. The differences are firstly, morens are made up of glacial deposition, whereas escar are made up of pluvio glacial deposition. Secondly, morens may develop at the site at the base, at the middle, at the end of the glacier, and so on. But escars developed only in the outwash plain, at the foothill of the mountain. Let's know about importance of escar. As escars are made up of highly porous sand and gravel, they are frequently excavated for construction. Escars have ripped up for the gravel to build nearby roads. Road can also be built on escar. A portion of Denali Highway in Alaska are built on escars. Escars have been also used in the hunt for diamonds. Escars are very important to the ecology. Several plants that grow on escar, including bear root and cranberries. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share with your friends. To get more new video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.